red. Yes. One, two, three. And it moving all the way across. Yeah, it's out back. Okay, not half as coordinated, but still going. Sort of like a backyard kiddie pool wave, but I had sort of enjoyed it. We're still getting things ready down here, so please have patience. No rioting, please. I know you people. Tipping over cars in the parking lot after the robotic event didn't go your way. Man. Looks like we're having a little bit of technical difficulty. It's usually at that point that I like to start singing, but I wouldn't want to uh, subject you people to that kind of torture. Or maybe I'll just interview this guy. Can uh, you tell me how long you've been into robotics? Yeah, do you believe that? He actually talked into this, and he's the guy who gave this to me. <laughs> All right, looks like we're ready. You with me, Bob? Well, I can I'm, tell you are. You're standing with right you. here. Let me get into the ring here. Could you tell me who I got over here on the red side? I would be delighted to. That would be 288, the Robo Dogs. The Robo Dogs. Woo! And their partners, 1091, the Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey, excellent. All right. I'm walking real slow, and it's because I'm so overweight, Bob. Um, <laughs> who do you got over here on the blue side for me, Bob? Team 1106. That would be the folks from North Dakota. Waldo is their robot. And their alliance partner, Team 111, Wild Stangs. Schomburg, Illinois. All right, last minute words of advice. Don't try to climb this. It's real flimsy. That's it. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Let me get out of the way of danger here. Let me count it down for you. Someone's got to give me that thumbs up. Three, two, one. And the games begin. Will they be back in time? Yes, they're back in time. Here comes that autonomous mode. Tremendous amount of work right there. Two stacks just as quick as can be. And the drivers will take control in about three, two. Drivers now have control. Waldo, 1106 and 1091 up at the top, just barely missed each other. 288 and Wild Stang mixing it up over here. Inning is uh, being called. About a minute, 25 seconds left in the game. And there's a pushing match over here between 288 and 111. 10 11 06 continues to put more boxes in the scoring zone. 10 91 taking more of those boxes back into the red scoring zone. Look at that activity. 58 seconds left in the game. 10 99 looks like they're going to try to limbo over the far side. Yes, they did. They're going for that stack. They know how important that is. Oh, what a hit. All right, the game is changed. going to hurt. They have 35 seconds left in the game. 11.06 took that box. 10.91 continues to carry more over. Oh, back and forth it goes. And we have 21 seconds left. Let's see what the strategy will be. 11.06 continues to push more boxes off. 12 seconds left in this game. Seven, six, five, four. Oh, that was a rough match. Oh, man. Wow. 
Now, I can't wait to talk about this stuff tomorrow. I'm going to be the envy of everyone in engineering department. Some beautiful strategy executed in that match. Oh, and this knocking down the stack of six, that's going to hurt the scores. Team 74, I still got your flag. If I sent someone down for it, I got the RoboDog's phone here, too. There we go, 146 in the red and oh, 41 the in the blue. Dog. 